Hey guys. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Good. Hey, so where do you think we'll be going today? No, no idea. idea. You never tell us anything. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know that there will be a Winter Olympic happening in Korea? I heard of it, but not really. So today we're going to take you guys to the place called Hongchang. Hongchang. <laughs> that like in North Korea? Um, I thought we were actually gonna go to Pyongyang, but... Pyongyang! <laughs> You're joking though, right? You're not gonna really take us there. And this girl here, Pyongyang, and I was like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> so Pyongyang is the city, name of the city, located uh. in Gangwon province. Okay. Pyongyang is the capital city of North Korea. Oh! The only people will be happening within the couple of months. Mm -hmm. So we will go to Pyongyang, and we will see how beautiful Alright, right, let's do this. Yeah! Go. Yeah! Go, go, get in, get it. Can you open it? How do you feel now? I'm excited because I want to see this No. She is not excited. <laughs> She's not feeling it. How long is it going to take for yeah. us to get there? It takes three hours to get there by this car. I'm not feeling it anymore. Well, I mean, three. But actually, they're building a special KTX, and it's gonna be just like one hour and a half, which is amazing. Awesome things waiting for you guys there, so. So, when we got to our first location, we were actually expecting to see another city with a lot of buildings, a lot of facilities. We just got to the sheep farm. Here it's beautiful, it's all mountains and it's all snowy, so I love the. And it's very quiet, too. You can hear like the bird, not the traffic, and there's no. We went to the top of the mountain. <gasps> They're so cute. <gasps> oh my god, so fuzzy. Sheep uh, farm was in a mountain. I had seen a lot of animals, but I had never seen this, sh this kind of sheep. If I was an Olympic athlete and I came here, I would be so relaxed. Hello. And just touch these little furry animals. Yeah, I love that part. The sheep, and they were so cute. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> Careful, girl. This location was amazing. You don't even feel the cold at that point. We're almost there. We're almost there. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh. When you reach the top and you're looking at the view. Look at that. Pretty. That's nice. I was expecting a lot more buildings, like in Seoul, but then it was just mountains. It was just perfect. Actually, I thought it was going to be a lot more crowded. Yeah, you'd think that because of the Olympics. Yeah. There'd be a lot of uh, buildings or something like that, but it's not like that at all. It's more peaceful, very, very humble. And then when we got into this cafe... Did you expect this kind of cafe located in this area? No, I was not expecting anything like this, because this kind of cafe I would expect it in Seoul, because it's cozy and it's like... You know, the decoration is also very pretty. Not only that, but the staff was also very friendly. At one point, they even wanted to lend us their shoes because we did not come prepared. What is happening? So, as everybody knows, I love food. And if you take me on a trip, you have to feed us proper traditional food on the area. I was actually confused at first because I'm a very picky eater. So when I saw the plate, what is this? Was completely shocked at the flavor. It was one of the best soups I've had in Korea. It's very plain because it's made of the sea water. Oh my god, that is right. so good. Usually we, we connect dubu with Japan and China. Mm. I've had a lot of dishes that have dubu in it whenever I go to Japan as well. So I'm very surprised that Korea also has a variety of that. Korea, most of the foods are spicy, but what you don't think is that something so kind of plain mm. looking is going to be so tasty at it's the same so time. It's so simple too. It's so good. Our next location was very, very fun. Yes! Can I go front? Okay, go. <laughs> because me and Lara are children. Will we be the first ones? I feel like this is for kids. <laughs> I don't want to uh, Before entering the museum, I actually realized that I had been making a spelling mistake. 
the whole time. I have been spelling Pyeongchang wrong the whole time. I thought it was P-Y-U-N-G. I believe it was P-Y-U-N-G. It's actually P-Y-E-O-N-G. Um, so I'm looking and it says ice sports in Gangnam, but why are we here? I thought the Olympics were, were in Pyeongchang. Ice in Gangnam. People sometimes confuse that Olympic happening in Pyeongchang, Pyeongchang, but it's happening in oh, oh, I see. Okay. The Olympics are being held in different locations, not just Pyeongchang, so... Mm, let's go! Let's go, go, go! LOL! Ooh, what is this? As we were walking into the museum, there was these really cool blocks where they had a screen showing the history of the Olympics. So, I'm curious, guys, is this your first Olympics in Korea? Um, this is our first Winter Olympics, oh. but we also had our first Olympic back in 1988, which was called Seoul Olympic. And then, so this is the first time for Korea to have a winter Olympic in Pyeongchang. Nice! So that's why they are preparing so much and like making it so beautiful, I guess. Okay, so the next part was one of my favorite parts. I've never even skated in my life, so I don't know what I'm doing. Should I move now? Oh. Go! Oh, oh. What am I doing? Can I go like this? Yeah. What about you? What did you do? I did this uh, ski jump. When do I have to jump though? There Yay! you go. Yeah. Wow. We actually had a really nice guide who spoke English, Korean, and German. Yep. Yeah. And now we're ready, but I think it's normally here the very many information in the Olympic Games. But we had also the introduce of the Olympic Games. It's like it will be held on the March 9th and about 10 days. So she explained to us a lot of the history and why the symbols are the way, everything about the mascots as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Today was a learning experience. Every time we go to a new city, we learn something new. Yeah, because actually Korea has different flavors wherever you go and that can create a lot of misconceptions. So if you guys have the same misconceptions as we do and then you see something that is wrong, you can go to this web page and you can record it and it will be corrected, which is amazing. So 